friends, it's Tack, back with another blade. Today we got the K-Bar BK-13. Let's go through the technical specs. Overall length, 5 and an eighth inch. Blade length is 2 and a quarter. The weight is 1 friggin' ounce. And the steel is 440A. This blade usually retails for around 30 bucks. I think I got this for 19. You could probably find them cheaper than that. I bought this a while ago, just never tested it. Now I gotta say, this is not the factory edge. I did put this on myself. Uh, I was learning my wicked edge, so I wanted to use a cheap knife. That way I'd learn the system without scratching up an expensive blade. I can't remember what I brought this to. It's probably like 2,000 grit, 1,000, yeah, it's probably higher, maybe 3,000. Let's give it a try though. I forget the angle too. Well, let's give her a whirl. So I'm sure it's pretty damned. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of unfair because it's not the factory edge. I do remember what it was like. It wasn't that great. So, now being a little blade like this, yeah, it's kind of hard to hold on to. Then I put lotion on my hands. Why did I do that? Well, it's getting cold out here. Old man hands like to crack when you're out in the cold. But the sharpness is, well, it's kind of cheating, but it's, yeah, it's really high. But we'll see if this little 440A steel holds an edge. I'll just give you a close-up of this. has no scales on it, just to keep it super slim. Drop point, partial hollow grind. I don't know if I said that already, but yeah. <laughs> so stabbing, yeah, this thing ain't gonna be, oh man, look how it would be in your hand. Especially with no scales. Oh, yeah, you can't really stab with this. We'll do a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I do not feel safe at all. Nope, yep, this, it's only a neck knife or a little hideaway knife, but I gotta do everything to it, right? Yeah, so you, def you definitely don't wanna stab a bad guy with this. You probably lose your grip and get sliced. But for small tasks, it still works good. Okay, this is gonna be totally ridiculous. I tried to baton this thing. <laughs> hey man, what the hell am I, else am I supposed to do with this darn little thing? I feel like I'm gonna break it. Yeah. Hey man, what if this was the only thing you had? That would suck. But hey, it's better than nothing. Something is better than nothing, always. Yeah, it will do that. No shit. Edge looks fine still. I know that was just a very short test, but just to see what it could do. Uh, 20 bucks, would I recommend it? Or 19. Maybe you can get it for less. You know, it's decent thickness. Yeah, it's only 440A, but it held up to a little bit of beating. Uh... 20 bucks, I'd have to say no. There's too many other cheap knives that would be better. It's, you know what its big downfall is? It's that tiny grip. It's purely just for, I know it's not a survival knife. I know I'm not for chopping a baton, I know. But for 20 bucks, unless you want something just super slim, something you could just stick anywhere in a crack somewhere, yeah, <laughs> then it would be fine. Then I would say, yeah, I guess, I guess it's worth. Man, it's more of a $10 knife to me, maybe 11. You know, I know it's only nine bucks more, but I don't know. I'm just trying to give you the facts. And there you go. So for the money, I, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd get something else for 20 bucks. One to 10, I'd probably give it, you know, it's good design, everything's straight. It's just a little small, that handle. It just needs scales or something. I know you can get scales, but they're not on the knife. You gotta buy them separate. So I'd probably give it probably a four, but there you go. Thanks so much for stopping by, and until the next time we meet.